What has six legs and hasn't thought of a good introduction yet? It's the NUFC Fans Forum. Today I am joined, as always, by Ross. Say hello, Ross. Hello. And as a special guest by former Squawker and current NUFC programme writer, contributor, wizard, Matt Smith. Say hello, Matt. Hello, Adam. Pleasure. Oh, good. That's that out of the way. He's smooth, isn't he? It is. It's bringing an air of professionality that we don't normally have, Matt. That's what it's all about. You have to... Good link, that. Great. Nice, good start. With a day to go until Newcastle United's championship season gets underway, we are looking at the final, final tweaks that need to be made, as well as looking back at pre-season. So we've all seen, or at least heard or read about the opening pre-season games, correct? For the first time in 21 years, Newcastle United have navigated the choppy waters of pre-season entirely unbeaten. My question is, how much can we read into that? Anything or nothing? Absolutely nout. Nout? Nout. Nothing what? at all. Why? Because it's pre-season. It doesn't matter. Nothing happens in pre-season, does it? Matt? Tend to agree, but it's a Rafa Benitez pre-season. No. Oh. Uh, I've never had one of these before, ever, so... How much can you read into a Rafa Benitez pre-season? Then? A lot. Loads. Such as? Like, he's starting 11 for Fulham, I reckon, was played against Vitesse. Well, this, this does bring... As you see, I've done a nice little graph here, the starting 11. Um, do you believe that is our starting 11? Yes, unless Mbemba gets himself fit. So Mbemba's absence over the weekend was, I've been away for a this, niggling, this, A niggling injury, I read somewhere. I niggling what, injury? I don't know what injury, it was a precaution. Precaution. So, if so he gets himself fit, I think him, him and Big Jamal. As Vitesse, but with Hanley, or with Mbemba if he's fit. Yes. Was anybody at the game? No. Matt? I wasn't at the game. Um, I watched the highlights. And? It was good. It was a good first half performance. It's um, not to do the cliche of game of two halves. It was a little bit like that in terms of the fact that we really, really conceded two very sloppy goals. Um, kind of took the tarnish of a nice three nil at half time lead. Um, again, what do you take in, in from that? Rafa didn't seem concerned. It was nice to see we score three goals in the first mm. half. But there's obviously the same. There's them same defensive errors. Um, the team looked. The team looked. Sharp. I'm just sceptical pre-season to kind of anal- analyse anything in the terms of, if you remember, when Steve McLaren came in <laughs> and it was a revolutionary pre-season. The ball was being played out of the, from the back all of a sudden. It was going to the full back from the goalkeeper. It was going to be the best season Newcastle have had for years. <laughs> they came uh, out of the league yeah. without a win. So I don't want to say that too much has changed. He's clearly, Rafa's clearly building a building a squad that suits and he's very much he's very much targeted that championship vibe hasn't he the squad looks different the championship vibe what is the championship vibe grizzly grizzly he's gone for brute force he's gone how do you win the championship he's got in we've now suddenly got a team of of, of big lads do you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time in, the first time in a long time that we're kind of looking strong um Little Vernon's in there as well. I'm not oh, the strings, he's in three season, isn't he? And few, right, few right, haven't worn your new Vernon and Anita, your castle top. Don't want to spoil it before the new, pre- new be, season. Be a nice I? surprise. Uh, you see, we've got a team full of big lads. Does anybody think that perhaps the centre midfield is slightly anomalous in that respect? Callback and Anita repeated with preference there. Hayden is in there as Hayden, well. Yeah, I mean, personally, I would, I would probably play Hayden in there um, rather than rather than Callback for, for the first couple of games. I think Callback's a shoe in personally. I just think he's that safe, isn't he? I think he, he'll be starting ahead of Shelby and Vern. Mm. Just because he's safe as hell. Well, he's starting with Vern at the moment, if that's anything to go on. So, yeah, read it that what you will. I Apparently, uh, Hayden's the new Jimmy Perch, isn't he? So, I'm all ab- on board with that. So Have we come up with any reason why he's the new James Perch, other than the fact he hasn't got an established position and wears number 14? <laughs> Big tackles. Big tackles, there we go. I like him in the <laughs> midfield. I, I'm, I'm not sure about him at centre back. I think, in terms of in terms of playing in, the, in that sort of anchor man role, I think, I think that works quite well for him. The problem I've got with Hayden is. He's kind of came in in this Rafa Benitez summer. Everyone's taken everything that Rafa's doing as gospel. Suddenly, when results don't go your way and people start to question, actually, who who is Isaac Hayden? Who actually is? Who 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 is this guy who's came in and has got quite a lot of hype, um, reckoned in the, in the in the sort of Arsenal youth ranks? But then results have to then go well. Otherwise, these players will get turned on really quickly. That's a great point, Matt, but the assumption you're making is that at any point this season, results won't go well. And I think we can all safely say that that's not going to happen. Has anyone surprised you both in pre-season? And seen the names Saive and Gufran getting touted about as people who've perhaps not so much set the world on fire, but have done better than was expected. Well, he scored a goal, didn't he, Gufran? A very nice goal at that, so that's an improvement on the last three years. Uh, Jamie Sterry? Mm. Starting, isn't he? Quite regularly and performing very well, I've read, so... 
maybe Yamat's slotted right back. Obviously, we're Jesus Hames. Jesus. Have we got an official pronunciation on this yet? We do this every episode. Jesus Gamez. <laughs> <really. laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Gamez. Jesus Gamez, yeah. So maybe the right back spot is still for grabs. Huh? Matt, anyone for you? You're right with Saive. I mean, I, I kind of watched him a little bit pre-season and it, it's a little bit surprising that he was neglected that much towards the end mm. in, a, in a relegation battle. I think you, you got him fortunate. I think the ball went under his foot twice in the home and in, in, in his first debut and it, it, from then on he was kind of, he was given that, the fans got on his back straight away and I think he wasn't trusted again. He looks like he's improved that. He looks like... Physical, he's getting. He looks a bit stronger. The Bordeaux captain has been able to trap a ball yeah. now after six months on our bench. I mean, hopefully all that. When he came in, it was a bit laughable, wasn't it? Nobody knew. He used to be a right winger. He used to be this and that. Wait, he's great, clearly a centre Greatest fielder. football manager player ever, isn't he? Striker. Well, exactly. <laughs> um, hopefully, I mean, he might have a role. We we'll, we'll look. We we'll look a bit quite full in the middle now. We'll, the best thing about this preseason for me, in terms of the way that Newcastle are looking, is the team no longer picks itself. In terms of look at the options that you've got. You've got you've got so many different varieties, and that that's key in the championship. And you can get a team that's winning, and then rotate it for different games, mm-hmm. different oppositions. So many different caliber of team in the championship. If we can put forward an alternative elevens, which Rafael will be the best at doing, he doesn't like to keep the same team, does he? No. Um, it'd be great, it'd be a great alternative. I can't remember, certainly in my memory, us ever having an actual squad. No, exactly. So this would be this would be quite a new experience for us if we are able to swap players in and out. Um, Jan Matt's still here. We're we all quite surprised at that at this stage. Very. Do we expect he's going to leave still, or do you think it's safe enough to give him that right back spot? The two Milan clubs are supposedly monitoring him, aren't they? So. But they've been monitoring him since the day we went down, apparently. Well, you don't want to dive into anything, do you? Too early. You're just taking the time, aren't they? They've got until the 31st of August. That's or? true. It's not long, not long now, lads. They do it quite often. These these sort of Italian big clubs are kind of wait, and normally from from sort of. Thinking back, he'll normally stay. It actually won't go through. I'd, I'd be, I'd be tempted to say that he's, he'll be here for the. I wouldn't mind season. it one bit, like if he did stay. No, same. He's a fantastic player. He will get into some fights in the championship. I can imagine. Nobody's entered this league with hair like his in 1986. Would probably say. <laughs> um, so right, that looks like to be the starting eleven. Then that's fair enough. Um, Sissoko's still here. Not for long, is it? Oh, yes, but we if you cast your mind back, Ross, we recorded one of these nearly a month ago in which we expected to sort of be out on his ear in a couple of days' time. He's still here. There's still lot, being monitored. a lot more stories, though, isn't there? We've been offered two players in exchange. We've been offered money by Madrid. Now, I'm not for a second assuming he's going to be a Newcastle player in the Championship. However, bar some huge late development, no doubt by the time we've got this edited, <laughs> he will be a Newcastle United player on Friday night. He's staying, man. <laughs> he loves it. He loves I it. I don't know if he loves it. He bloody loves it. He's gonna. He's gonna stay. He's gonna score against. He's gonna score against Fulham. The fans are gonna love him. Four games in, he'll start slagging on everyone off again, and he'll leave in January. He won't get in the team. Well, this this is my big question. If Musa Sogo is an Newcastle United player on Friday night, would you play him? The likelihood is that he won't. I mean, he was. I don't know if it's. I'm not sure how true this is, but he was told not to come to the family event on. Was it on this week? Earlier this week. Oh, um, cold. Told where the where the open training session for fans to come watch the players. Mrs. O was told not to be there. Apparently, allegedly. So Who told you that? It was just on on Twitter. No? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't there. Right. No. So I mean, wait for me. Of... Rafa has been working on a system all preseason, hasn't he? Mm. It's always been the four-two-three-one. And Sissoko has not been part of that, so he can't. He might be on the bench. Why not bring him on for the last twenty minutes if we're struggling? Listen, the family day is a world. You contribute nothing. There's no real reason to have anybody at a, at a family day in particular. However, the Fulham game is a competitive fixture where we need to win. If the chances of Newcastle United beating Fulham mm-hmm. are, in the manager's mind, improved by having Musa Sissoko in the starting eleven, does the other concerns about dressing room or sales or any of that does that go out the window? Personally, Rafa aside, would you two play him on Friday if he's still here? No. Nah. No? Why? I'd bench him. You'd bench Just him? Just because they've been working for two months now with the system in mind and he's not been there, so why change it? It's been working in pre-season, hasn't it? It should work against Fulham. Matt Smith? And Storm. You have to start <laughs> the team. Yeah. Who makes way? Mm, I mean, it's, it's where you play him as well, I suppose. Matt Ritchie? He kind of dropped in. He's been on fire pre-season, Yeah, it would be more likely to be Gail, wouldn't it? The striker? Gail? Well, if you hit your head... If you're going to, if you're going to, I mean, you might play Mitrovic Central, I'm not sure. Can't play Mitrovic, he's Different. banned, isn't he? Is mm. he banned? He's got his red card. Well, we got told off for that on Twitter because we, we had him in our starting 11. I mean, it's difficult and it fits as up, it is. But genuinely the most naturally gifted player on the team. 
Ooh. Oh, the tweet. Oh, I can already, I can already feel the heat <laughs> from him. Did you watch the Euros? He was... Oh, I watched oh, those two games. Yeah, we all saw those two games. He made us look stupid. Uh, Jose Perez. Looks like he might stay, surprisingly, despite interest and being monitored. But he looks like he'd be starting wide. Do you think he's got an argument to be made that he should be, certainly in the first couple of weeks at least, deserves to be the starting centre forward? Centre forward? Centre forward? Not starting. At all. You've just paid 10 million quid for a striker. You're not, not going to play him, are you? Mm-hmm. And Perez can't play. He can't, he can't, he's obviously more effective in the middle, but he can't play out wide because he cuts in with these nice little drinking runs and whatnot. And I, I think he'll do a job. He'll be all right. I hope that the kind of the cliche of that you need strength and physicality in the championship. I hope he dodges it and he's yeah. just dancing around these these defenders who you, he's you choppers. Maybe, these Chris Morgans. These yeah, Chris Morgans. Exactly. I still don't know who Chris Morgan is. I mean, he's physically, he's not big enough, is he? But he has got that skill. They'll, they'll get nowhere near him. So if he's going to play out on the left. And come back inside it, then I think he could he could be challenging. But I reckon Perez could could really challenge challenge Gale for a first. The first I think if we're going to use a number ten, his his movement, his ability, and his skill, and everything that would really that'd be the best way to use him. I think certainly in the championship. But you know, he's, he's if he stays around, he showed a degree of loyalty. He's been excellent in preseason. He scored goals, albeit inconsistently, but certainly scored more goals than he had any right to in some absolutely minging teams. Mm. Would you not be knocking on the manager's door saying, "Look, I know you've brought this lad in, but..." I, that's where I want to play. I don't know if he would. He just seems like a canny lad, doesn't he? Just gets on with his job. It doesn't matter what. What's okay, your boss. Put okay, boss. Uh, one of those. Yeah. He's certainly no longer the young lad that we got in from from Tenerife who was oh. going to not play, and he's now became a he's he's a proper figure. He's a proper yeah. figure at the club. He's showing leadership attributes. You look around stuff that's been on any FC TV and the bits and bobs from preseason. He's he's clearly one of the key. Keep yeah. in the dressing room, so I don't think he's going to be happy to be to be sitting around on the bench. I can't imagine that that happened at all this season. I think he certainly deserves to be better. He just seems like a bench. nice lad that'll get on with it. Wouldn't he? he does seem like a nice lad. Good, good haircut. Slick, controversial. Slick haircut. Slick haircut. Well groomed. Well groomed. <laughs> who's the, who's the best groomed player at the club? We'll edit this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the look of Jamal Lascelles, me, you know. Oh, sharp, clean shaven. Yeah, sharp I mean, haircut. Sharp. I said when I when I went to the uh, definitely gets his eyebrows done. Jamal Lasalle gets I his be eyebrows saying, I done. I will not to his face. I'll ask his mum on Twitter. Okay, mum, not my mum. Jamal's mum. <laughs> Does he get his eyebrows done? Right in. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tovan, but we'll move on. We've upset everyone in the championship already because we've just gone and activated all the release clauses on their most important players. Uh, we're now the team. If we weren't already, we are now the team everybody wants to be. It's been too long for that, hasn't it? Yeah. Nice to feel that, like that again, isn't it? But do, you, do you think we're sort of showing a, a, maybe it's a degree of a lack of respect towards the other clubs well, just going and like pinching their best If it's in the contract, Come what's on. wrong with it, isn't it? Just Come on. Don't write it in the contract if you don't want to release calls, bought out. That's exactly. true. We are, at the very least, Keep doing it. we are certainly the team everybody wants to be. But what do you think our biggest threat is at the minute? Is it from another club? Is it from something within the club already? Is it a lack of reliable goal scorers? Is it... I think we are light up front. We've only got Mitrovic, Gale and Armstrong as well out and out centre forwards. Mm. So I think we definitely need one more up there. I wouldn't mind Ross McCormack, but he's 12 million or 14 million, whatever. Looks to be on his way to Villa. Yeah, if we could just sneak in there with the, the last minute yeah. release clause clincher, I'd be all for it. But mm. we do need another striker up there. Do you think our biggest... I don't think scoring goals would be a problem, but I just think if we get an injury or two, scoring goals will be a problem. Mm. I just think it might be controversial, but we've got a manager who's never managed in the championship. And obviously, it's Rafa Benitez. Everything's positive. But if it starts badly, and if <laughs> we don't suddenly win three out of the first three, and you're sitting in 14th, and you've got Rafa Benitez and Isaac Hayden and Grant Hanley, and suddenly this strategy hasn't worked, that's going to be the biggest problem because it's going to, it's going to mean that all this work, all this work hasn't paid off. I can't imagine... Rafa then being the same positive guy that he is at the minute and as soon as things get tough then where do you go because we haven't really we can only go down if it doesn't work we can't you could never Rafa Benita shouldn't technically be anywhere near this club no so that's, that's true that's going to be the problem who do you get after it if it goes wrong hopefully it won't but that's the that's the sort of that's the kind of weakness that I'm worried about we're, we're going to be too clever aren't we we're just that's the thing I mean I don't think we will be I don't think we'll be um, I don't think like arrogant, I think the team's solid. We've got good. Oh, no, I don't players. think we'll be arrogant. I just think we'll be better because we are better. Everything's better about us. Got better. You've got to remember that teams are now going to come to 
a packed St James's Park every week and play their asses off. Do you know what I mean? And it's St James's Park with an atmosphere for the first yeah. time in ten years. The amount of people with season tickets this year, the atmosphere is going to be great. Who've never been for about four or five years. Mm. Got the Gallagher flags and everything. But that's only going to spur on these Championship teams, these Rotherhams, to have a right good go. So it's how we'll manage playing like that. We've got the best guy in charge to to make that happen. But it's a complete does. shift in the mentality, isn't it? Because for years now we've just been scraping by. In the, in the Premier League trying to stay up every season but mm. now we've actually got to go and break teams down which we haven't been set up to do for no. like, probably since we've it's, finished it's a, it, isn't it? it's a whole it's going to be a whole new experience for a lot of the players in that squad I would imagine but again is it, have we got the right manager for that? Is exactly. that, I mean, is that I, something Benitez is famous was, for doing over the course of his career really getting was, at teams? I was anxious about that I mean I was over the moon ecstatic that he, that he stayed on but again it's, it's a totally different league I think he's what he's done he's clearly it's an intelligent plan that he's that he's put in place, and we're signing players that for the first time that are oh, they have a great bit of business. That's what the job in hand kind of kind of players. I think it's going to be interesting with Shelby. I think as well. I mean, because of the because of that physical aspect, you need your flair players to step up, and the likes of Shelby, who can he's well on his day. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely fantastic. But then the last season, what happened? Do you know what I mean? The absolutely horrendous end of the season. Wasn't even picked for the for the relegation relegation battle this is a guy who's came in for 12 million quid mm. his his attitude's clearly a problem whether Rafa can get the best out of him because if he plays well in the middle of midfield with the, with the sturdiness around him he could shine Rafa, couldn't he? he he seems to have come back with a different mentality though hasn't he Shelby he's lost weight mm. he just seems to be more switched on because he, I think he realises that his next move whether it might be in the Premier League it won't be at a club like us mm. with a manager like we have it's going to be worse, isn't it? From so I think this is a, a little bit of a last chance saloon for John Joe. I hope he, I hope he does well. Yeah, I hope, he does I hope well. his head screwed on. So just to nail that down, the biggest threats to Newcastle United potentially not going up this season is ourselves. Or ourselves, yeah. as ever, as, as ever. ever. <laughs> um, we could do a quick roundup on the other clubs that potentially could go up with us, but let's face it, it's a Championship. No one never actually works, does it? Yeah. Villa, anyone? If they get McCormack to anybody, the yeah. Well, McCorm- by the time we've got this edited, probably McCormack. What's happening with Kieran Clark? Has that gone through? Well, that's my, my next... Uh, He's he? done his medical. Some w- woman oh. in the hospital did a selfie with the army. Have we all seen this on Twitter, oh, yeah. by she, the way? She wrote the story, didn't that she? Was unbelievable. No, no, she did a picture of the army. Look who's just... I've just seen in the hospital getting his medical, which, you know, a few people shared it, retweeted it. Then her ex-husband manually retweeted with, you never broke transfer stories when we were married. <laughs> Highlight of pre-season for me. That's I fun. saw the tweet and kind of resented my own mother for not giving us news. I was kind of texting her. What wow. Up to a today. Bit dark, that Mrs. Thing. Smith. You know what I mean? I was like, what, what have you been doing? Oh, I've just been at work. Was, well, look what other, other family members <laughs> have been. Have you just told your mum to up her I mean, ITK game? Sure, sure, get injured, get in hospital, Mrs. Smith, and find some Newcastle players. I think that's what the message is. Uh, on the subject of DR and Clark, let's say they're all stamped and got all their appropriate things done. Do they... Get into your team on Friday? Are they no, on the no. bench? No, Neither of no, them? No, 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 no. Not Kieran Clark. No? He's... I am terrified about Kieran Clark signing for us. Every time I see the guy on match of the day, he's out of position, he's making some sort of weird mistake. He's just Stephen Taylor, but a bit more fit. Yeah. He, that's what we've done here. We've just signed a fitter, younger Stephen Taylor. Yeah. I kind of looked at him and was like, Five you know, they're signing, but isn't, isn't Kieran Clark rubbish? Yeah, he's... <laughs> he, he's he, I mean, I'm all for having four experienced, recognised central defence. Well, wait, you know, Jamal's yeah, got, yeah. got experience in the championship. Four first team centre halves. I think we need that. But Kieran I'll be Clark. nervous when Kieran Clark plays, yeah. especially with Grant Hanley. It's team. such an odd transfer because Villa are probably after ourselves the yeah. the next strongest team in that league. You'd think Kieran Clark's om- is he was their captain? Is he, he has captained them on occasion? I think he's he's high up, almost he? guaranteed yeah. to start, and he's. I don't think he's ahead of Hanley for me, certainly. He's definitely not ahead of Mbemba and Lascelles. So he's come, leaving the, probably the second best chance of going up and playing for the, possibly the best chance and sitting on the bench for most of the season. He'll be if he gets 10 or 15. I mean, injuries aside, he's going to be lucky if he gets 10 odd games. I think the lure of Rafa in it, it's got to be. Seems to be where it is. Uh, I, think, I think Diana will play. Oh, sorry, I think Diame will play. On Friday. I, just, I was trying to fix with Kieran Clark there. Yeah. I think Diame will play. He'll yeah. play him, but he'll play as a. Probably in, is the I think furthest the, forward midfielder. Oh, yeah. The calm. The calm. The calm. Yeah. I must admit, I've no, I didn't really see him much for Hull, but I was very surprised that he stayed on there. He was brilliant. He scored the winner in the playoff final, didn't he? He's yeah. absolutely outstanding. Literally, the, for the for the games that I watched in the Championship last year, around a few, obviously not not too many, but the Hull games I saw, he was absolutely outstanding. He's he a beast, isn't he? 
He does. I mean, he's better than the championship. He is genuinely better than the championship. Is there a chance he could be better than Sissoko? There's certainly a chance he'll work harder, put more effort in. I imagine we'll take to him a lot more. Players, but to me, Diarm is better on the ball than Sissoko is. Ooh. Better finish. More composure, Watch better on finish. the ball. Big beast of a man. But he wouldn't be in either of your 11s for Fulham too soon. I think, yeah. yeah it's just this system thing again. We've been working on it for two months. Why? Why upset the Apple Cup? How many weeks into this season? Let's say things aren't going well. We're still going to repeat the team well, system. Been, the, when they've been in the club in a couple of weeks, I'm all for it. But I'm like, yeah, I'm that sort of minded. When you've been working on something, see it through. Oh, Ross, very, very deep. Right. Very deep. So that's the army and Clark probably in. Um, almost certainly going to be by the time this goes out. Uh, are there any particular players? You've mentioned Ross McCormack already, but are there any particular players Newcastle should be having a bit of a look at between now and the end of the transfer window? I don't know now. We're going to have money, aren't we, after Musa goes away? Mm. So I think the world's war Easter. So I, I, I couldn't pluck, it, pluck a name for you, but I still think we need definitely a striker uh -huh. and perhaps a winger. I still think we're a bit light on wingers. Matt yeah. Smith, you know literally every footballer in the world. So. I mean, it's just because we've done so much. It's, it's, it's difficult to see. Because of the players that he's bought, it seems like such a set plan. I, I don't want to upset the, upset the ship with a, with a kind of left-wing signing that would, that, would, that would change it. I think he's, but you agree he needs to be a winger then? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> definitely an attacker. I think let's give, these, let's give these new lads a chance at the back and let's, let's, see, what they, let's, let's see what we can what do. What about the keepers, though? This is a problem. Well, how has how's Matt Sells impressed everyone in pre-season? Well, he hasn't, has he? No. Uh, <laughs> he looks, looks the very, part. Very, very, he looks like the oldest 24-year-old yeah. in the history of the universe. Hi, it was but, your uh, birthday yesterday. How old are you? I'm 24. See, so I think you might be he giving him a run. He looks older than me. <laughs> he, could, he could be my dad. <laughs> Is Darlin on with a shout? I, mean, I just mean the number of them we've got. Woodman signs a new contract yesterday or the day before. Krull's still here. Krull's People still here. People seem to forget this. Elliot, Sells... Darlow, we've if, got if, far too many of them. If Crow's fit, then Crow starts for me. Oh! If, Elliot, if, if, if Elliot Ow! Fits, does he start? No. So you, know, you know my feelings on Elliot. I think I've expressed them before. Not, no, not no, on no, this no, show no, you no, haven't, no, Matt Smith. Get them out there for the world of you. No, I mean, I don't, I mean he did a lot, but initially I thought it was, I was like, a bit ridiculous, the kind of hype that he got. But I, I understand that he impressed, and when he did get injured, it was a blow. Um, for me... Crawls differently to all three of them. Um, well, has he not been out of form for a good three years, though? Do you not use up all his good form in that win at Tottenham? So I think nah. he did. I think he did. I think I agree. I, know, I mean, I know, uh, he, the injuries have been a problem as well, and his kicking's certainly not the best. But in terms who's of his? who's his? Yeah. In terms of <laughs> Rob Elliott. In terms yeah, of shots, out, out his hands, he's lovely, isn't yeah. he? <laughs> How far away is Crawl? I've got um, no idea. No idea, but I think. A so lot of people just saying just he's in a different it. people saying he's a different class. It's very much in the same sort of thought. Czech Tioti is in a different class in mm -hmm. that we have seen him play at a level far beyond what we're going to be doing this season. But not for a split second would I trust him to do it over the next eight or nine months. Mm -hmm. Czech Tioti still here? Well, he's meant to be. Well, we've had offers, haven't we? For uh, from being monitored, is he? No, from Abu Dhabi. All right, a couple of clubs over there. Tioti yeah. might start if he's here. I oh, mean, it's, a me it's a mess, isn't it, at the minute? Si yeah. Personally, Tioti will. Verne's, Verne's, Verne, yeah, got to get Verne. I've changed my opinion since the last video. Verne's starting. Rafa likes him, doesn't he? You, how, how can anyone hate him, is the question. The thing is, he he's, is, he's come on leaps and bounds in the last six months. It's so, unbelievable. His size, his size is, uh, it doesn't matter, he's strong. Genuinely Little strong. Little terrier, isn't he? Yeah. Big bum Nip as well. Uh, as ever, we'd like to open the floor to your questions, and I'm going to field them, the best ones from Twitter. Some of them have already gone through, so please don't feel too left out. Uh, we'll start with... Matthew Daly asks, should we have tried to sign Ross McCormack? If that fee being quoted is the right one, is that something we should have made an effort to do or is it for I mean, whatever reason? If you, if you look at it, the fact that we've bought, that, we've bought Diamia for, was it 4.6? So you're getting, you're getting a player who's going to probably play a little bit less attacking but give you a little bit more and you're getting him for half the price. Mm. You're going to have to fork up 12 million for McCormack. He's going to guarantee goals. I think 21 last season in the Championship for Fulham. Inevitable. We're getting Inevitable. 35 million for Sissoko, aren't we? And then if, he, if he's going to be the difference between not going up and going up, mm -hmm. the money you get from the Premier League anyway, I think it'd be worth it. Yeah. So If he's there, definitely. If he was available, I think we'd get him. I just think it's nice if Villa were taking away Fulham's best player right before we play them. Mm -hmm. That's very generous uh, of them. I mean, yeah. that would be great for us because without them, they're, they're really weak. Right. Jake Maxwell asks Do you think Gufran has a role to play this season? Utility man, when he's needed, call him to throw him on. <laughs> yeah. 
The Try. problem, the problem. I mean, he might uh, definitely dress the room. I think he's gonna. He, he's obviously liked. He's he's been there for a long time, and those figures are, c- are crucial. Unfortunately, he hasn't got the ability to play in the first team anymore. So it would be good to have that leadership on the pitch, but he's not. He's not good enough to start. And I burned him at uh, Calgate traffic lights. No, off, off the line. He's see, never been the same see since. See you in his Audi Q7. Wow. That uh, wasn't me focus. Go on. Moving anyway, on. Moving on. Uh, Bad Geordie asks, do you think we need to sign a left back? No. No. No? Completely happy with that department? The only problem is Dummett, I- Dummett can't play there. So if we're thinking that Dummett's... In the championship, though, and then we've got... In the championship, I think he'd be all right. I agree. I think he's 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 too basic of a player to play at left back. I just think once he's past the halfway line, he offers now, apart from a top corner screamer against Man United. Uh, but I, I think he'll cope. We've then we've got Jesus Gammers and then we've got Kevin and Barbu as well who can play Kevin there. Kevin and Barbu, GoPro. Have you seen the video on the NFC? Uh, Mitrovic. Hilarious. I've not, I've not seen that. What turns around on the bus and says, Mitro, do something <laughs> for the camera. And Mitro's like, fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, if Rafa is still here, this is the big one, where do you see NFC in five years? Oh, God. Start on the 21 22 season. There's one massive variable in that, isn't there? What's that, Ross? His name is Michael James Wallace Ashley. That is his full name. <laughs> no idea that was his that full is name. His full name. Michael James Wallace Ashley. It's in his hands. Okay. You never Man. know. We might, we might go up this season and he gets no money next summer. Rafa and he goes away. Just leaves we're leaves hanging. Oh. You never know. Champions League. You like to think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. So, varying opinions uh, there on that one. Champions Great. League is a completely different team than the one that we've got now. Well, thank you very much for joining us on another NUFC Fans Forum. Uh, I've been joined, as ever, by Ross. What a pleasure it's been. Has been, hasn't it? And Matt Smith. Thanks very much, Adam. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Let us know what you thought and let us know your teams for Fulham in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I've been Adam from NUFC Fans and we shall see you soon. Beauty. I was going to say, <laughs> uh, the guy from Man City, Ikichi, Ikichi thingy. Ilaruna. No. Ignacio. 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 He's really good in the <laughs> <laughs>